Remember when the American Supreme Court Justice, or nominee at the time, Katanji Brown Jackson, couldn't define woman? Can you provide a definition for the word woman? Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. You can't? Mm, not in okay. this context. So I'm not a biologist. The yeah, that was crazy stuff. Well, last Friday, an Australian judge was like, hold my beer. Federal Court Justice Robert Bromwich said, in its contemporary ordinary meaning, sex is changeable. Let's have a look. Bearing, bearing, bear, 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 bear. So this all relates to Tickle versus Giggle, the most comically named court case since Batman versus Commissioner. Transgender woman Roxanne Tickle has sued Giggle app for girls and its founder Sal Grover for sex and gender discrimination. I did a video as the court case was kicking off a few months ago. You might remember Roxanne Tickle. I really didn't like being in the male changing rooms. They were... I felt really uncomfortable there. I didn't like the the smells or the sounds. Anyway, here's my breakdown of the case from a few months ago. So what is Tickle vs Giggle all about? Well, this chick called Sal Grover launched a mobile app in 2018 called Giggle, an app for women made by women. It was basically a networking, social media, support and advice type thing for chicks. Then along comes a transgender woman called Roxanne Tickle, who joins the app, then gets booted once Sal Grover realised he was a biological male. So Roxanne Tickle basically wants a couple of hundred grand from Sal Grover for discrimination and cyber abuse she faced over the case. And so Sadly, I think she's going to get it. In this round anyway. I mean, Sal Grover might take this to the High Court. She's expressed that she would. But I think Roxanne Tickle's going to win this because of some changes made to the Sex Discrimination Act in 2013 by our then Prime Minister and, ironically, our first female Prime Minister, Julia Gillard. The changes basically included gender identity into the definition of sex discrimination. So as the law stands, Roxanne Tickle has a pretty good chance of winning. Sal Grover effectively needs to get the law changed. Now, my prediction was right. He didn't get a couple of hundred grand, he only got ten grand. But I don't think it's the amount that concerns Sal Grover. Not primarily, anyway. See, when she made the app Giggle, she intended it to be for females. And it's only the inclusion of gender identity in the Sex Discrimination Act that got her in the end. The judge was working within the bounds of the law. And although he's all over the shop with his definitions of woman and female, it's the law itself that needs to be challenged. See, he said that Roxanne Tickle is a female. And as we keep getting told, female is a sex and woman is a gender. But he made these astonishing statements in his judgment. He said, I need go no further than accept, as I do, that it's legally sufficient that Miss Tickle is recorded as female on her updated Queensland birth certificate for her to be at law of the female sex. He went on to say, in its contemporary, ordinary meaning, sex is changeable. Well, I think he's wrong. Sex is not changeable. Like, apart from a few crazy outliers, you don't really see too many people who say sex is changeable. It's always gender. Gender is a social construct it's a figment of people's imaginations, therefore it can be changed. Sex, a set of biological characteristics, can't. It's almost as if, and this is really weird to say, this judge isn't woke enough. He doesn't understand the new completely fabricated differences between sex and gender. I can't believe I just said the judge isn't woke enough. I think you get what I mean. I hope you do anyway. That does not make and it just irks me that there can be a difference between a fact and a legal fact. Like Roxanne Tickle is at law of the female sex. Is Roxanne Tickle of the female sex? No. You're not going to find any biologist or, you know, person who isn't insane who's going to agree with that. I mean, can a square legally be a circle? Can two plus two legally equal five? If the law doesn't reflect reality, then we're all fucked. Anyway, here's what Roxanne Tickle had to say after the verdict. The unlawful and discriminatory exclusion from the Giggle app has stolen the last three years of my life. Well, why did you let it steal three years of your life? No one even uses the app anymore. It's defunct. It never really got off the ground in the first place. See, at the end of the day, I don't think this is about the Giggle app. This is about making people bend. This is about forcing people to accept your ideology and accepting that two plus two equals five. How many fingers am I holding up, Winston? Four. And if the party says there are not four, but five, then how many? I
I've been targeted by hateful and online commentary and degrading merchandise designed to ridicule and mock me. Merchandise? Jesus, I didn't know there was merchandise. But not all online commentary is hateful. I bet he'd see me as hateful for having a different opinion. But I think you'll find I've got the same opinion as the majority of Australians. Sal Grover should be able to have an app for females only. People generally want to protect females. And having a female only space is fair. It's good. I'm pleased by the outcome of my case and I hope it is healing for trans and gender diverse people. The ruling shows that all women are protected from discrimination. I brought my case to show trans people that you can be brave and that you can stand up for yourself. You subjected a pregnant chick who had just launched a female app to a torrent of abuse from trans activists. Like I said, I think this was about bending wills and forcing ideologies. Anyway, here's part of an interview with Sel Grover after the verdict. Sal Grover, you've just been found guilty of indirect discrimination against a woman. How do you feel? I will say, in my view, I've not been found guilty of um, indirect discrimination against a woman because the whole crux of the case was that I don't acknowledge that this male person adult human male is a woman. You know what the sad thing is? Sel Grover didn't know anything about this gender ideology shit before she launched the app. She just wanted an app for females. She didn't realise she was sticking her finger in a furnace until Roxanne Giggle joined the app just after its release. Law changes made a decade ago made this decision possible today. So are you saying there is something wrong with the current law? Without a doubt. Like, if any man claiming to be a woman was actually a woman, their rights would have actually existed under the Sex Discrimination Act how it was before the amendments. It had to be amend amended so that men could be included as women into it. You know, that's a good point. The Sex Discrimination Act had to be bastardised in 2013 for this scenario to even come about. It's as if we didn't know what a woman, let alone a female, was before 2013. You know, the pre-2013 dark ages. It's a wonder we even knew how to reproduce. We were just running around and sticking our dicks in any old hole. Well, I guess we were, but you know what I mean. What happened today in an Australian court is absolutely shocking. It is a massive setback to women's rights. It does not make Australia a safer place for women. And this is a slippery slope. What precedent does this set for women's only bathrooms, change rooms, shelters, and sport at the highest level? This is an embarrassment for Australia, and I know I'm not alone in saying that. See, all the arguments about bathrooms and change rooms and shelters and sports, they're all valid, and we've heard them all before. But I kind of think we shouldn't have to make those arguments. Like, we don't have to justify that the sky's not green. We shouldn't have to justify that Roxanne Tickle is not female. But we do, apparently. So Sal Grover is now going to have to take this to the High Court. And I hope she wins. I hope she gets this law changed. Because it is, in my opinion, destructive to common sense. Anyway, they're just my thoughts. Leave yours down below or at my Twitter, at bear underscore ing. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.